Happy Friday, I'm Trace, and thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. Each week we lay out the top stories of the last seven days, plus your social media comments. And this week we're talking about Mary Jane, pot, grass, dope, taima, bakalambak, fuma de Angola, ganj. Trace! Did I say ganj? I don't remember. We're also talking about crazy antimatter engines and horror movies and how they affect your brain. Let's get to the stories. Your brain on horror movies. What is your favorite horror movie? Mine are all science fiction related, and as we'll probably never come to a consensus, let's just settle that Silence of the Lambs is a darn good horror movie. Well, hello, Clarice. You probably remember that scene where Jodie Foster gets the lights turned out on her and Buffalo Bill starts reaching out for her in the dark, right? It turns out that there is a good reason why you probably remember that creepy scene, and that's because your brain was likely at its peak engagement during that time. A study done by the City College of New York and Columbia University said that our brains peak during specific scenes in horror movies. Tense scenes present prime conditions for peak brain activity. What's a tense scene? I'm glad you asked. A tense scene contains two of the following three conditions. Ominous, Ominous music, music. Powerful, powerful visual, visual cues, cues. And, and meaningful, meaningful scene changes. changes. Hello? What? The call's coming from inside the house! <laughs> Researchers have not quite figured out where in the brain this occurs, or why, or how, but they do know that it's there, just biding its time. Read more about your brain on horror movies at discoverynews.com slash brain on horror. The next story is set in space where no one can hear you travel between galaxies. Using laser and antimatter to trek to the stars. Traveling to another star is a great topic, but how are we going to get there? There really are no propulsion systems that currently exist that can get us all the way to another galaxy in the lifespan of the passengers involved. One method involves using antimatter. And no, antimatter is not a political action group against matter. Antimatter is just what it sounds like. It's the opposite of regular matter. Think hydrogen, where the electrons are spinning in the opposite direction. If you jam that next to regular hydrogen, the two annihilate each other in a huge explosion that produces a phenomenal amount of energy. A new propulsion system suggests using lasers to create antimatter from quantum fields that already exist in space. Just bear with me now. The antimatter would propel the ship to relativistic speeds. That is a significant fraction of the speed of light. That is so cool. If it sounds more complex than it is, that's because it's complex science. You can read more about it at discoverynews.com slash laser antimatter. The last story of the week is the one that you came to see. Marijuana that doesn't get you stoned. <coughs> <coughs> it would uh, <coughs> seem that a government approved plantation in northern Israel has grown a strain of marijuana or cannabis that doesn't seem to get you high. The idea is to use this new strain for medical marijuana. It may seem kind of silly, but if you understand the science, it makes more sense. So first you need to understand a little bit about the cannabis plant itself. Inside are near 60 chemicals, including tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. That's the one that makes you feel high. As well as CBD, or cannabidiol. That's an anti-inflammatory. Now in this strain of the marijuana plant, it's called avidecal by the way, there are more CBDs and fewer THCs, which means it's like better medicine with fewer side effects. According to Zach Klein, head of development at the facility, the high isn't necessarily what people are looking for. Instead, it's an unwanted side effect and is sometimes even unpleasant for the users. Though you may be less stoked to toke, these scientists are working to make medical marijuana more like medicine and less like a loophole for some members of our society. After all, the real reason that you have a bong in your closet is because of your really bad back pain, right? Right? Pass the duchy and see a video tour of the facility at discoverynews.com slash no high for you. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. If you want to see more of our coverage, make sure that you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery newsletter and get our headlines right in your inbox every morning. Keep commenting and tweeting on our stories. I read them all. And have a great week. We'll see you next Friday. Crap, I broke it. I actually broke it. Go in. 
New propulsion system suggests things that are happening. No, I was just about to go take a shower. No. <laughs> I think I missed some stuff. <coughs> Tetrahydrocannabinol and cannabinol.